No kidding. It really is. I bless the rains down in Africa, not I miss the rains down in Africa. I knew that. So Moonfall is the newest Roland Emmerich disaster movie, and we've hit peak crazy at this point. The moon has changed its orbit. It's getting closer to Earth at a very rapid pace because the moon is not all it seemed to be. As it does, destruction ensues. They gotta stop it. Seems pretty impossible, but hey, this is a Roland Emmerich film. Nothing is impossible. Now, it being a Roland Emmerich film, we know what to expect at this point. Generally speaking, it's gonna go down like this. You're gonna have a lot of dumb, fun, destructive nonsense that's pretty sweet when it's going down. And you might have a useless family or otherwise side character side quest that bogs the movie down when the movie concentrates on that. In Moonfall, you get all of that. Yeah, the destruction was pretty sweet. I mean, it's the moon getting closer to the earth, you know? So you got tsunamis, tidal waves, all that kind of destruction, plus the horizon when the moon's going over it and you see bits of the moon breaking off. I mean, it's pretty imaginative stuff. That make for a pretty sweet poster. I love me some really good visuals. This movie has some sweet visuals. I mean, don't go in here looking for science, dude. You can't do that, don't. I remember I saw Neil deGrasse Tyson in person and came to Seattle and his whole thing was he was talking about science in movies and where movies got it right and wrong. I feel like this movie is fodder for that. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson could do another tour and be like, okay, we can talk about Moonfall now. Then we get to the bummer and this movie actually had a lot of bummers to be honest with you. As much as I like seeing the destruction that I saw, I feel like I actually could have seen more. Don't get me wrong, like I said, some sweet visuals in here, but the mission to go to the moon was so important, so at the forefront that it concentrated on that when in a story where the moon is falling to the earth. The most interesting location in the movie is the earth, not the moon. That's where the destruction is gonna be going down and you see a bit of it. You do see glimpses of what I liked. For instance, you know, getting robbed at gunpoint by people who wanna jack your shit, like it's The Last of Us or something. I like that. I wanna see the decline of civilization in a situation like this. But it's just, you know, a scene and a half. It's like the movie was like, hey, we gotta remind you that that would happen. Okay, back to the moon stuff. And it's always through the lens of this family side character side arc that just bored me. I cannot emphasize enough how much I didn't care about these side characters. I, I didn't care about the father-son dynamic, which Roland Emmerich seems to have a lot of in his movies. The time where the parental child dynamic worked most, the Patriot, that shit was fucking harsh. But this movie, no, didn't care. I was like, oh, okay, give me good characters that I actually do latch on to, to show me what's going on on Earth. Or if you can't have an interesting group of side characters, have the main character stay on Earth so I can see all the destruction and just be like, ah, we died, but whatever, we failed, fuck the end. That works for me. Like you look at the movie San Andreas, San Andreas did a much better job at putting the characters in peril as they're traversing the catastrophes that are happening all around them. This movie, the bullshit family that I didn't care about, they'll see meteors, you know, bits of moon coming down, smacking a mountain, it all explodes and they're like, all right, stay close. I'm like, oh yeah, stay out of the way of that inconvenient thing. And you did, which means you know, nothing really happened. But when it happened, it looked cool. I guess that's the bummer when the moon crashing into the earth is gonna do so much to the earth and you don't have time to show everything it's going to do in one movie. Actually, even the main crew, Patrick Wilson and Halle Berry, they were fine. John Bradley is absolutely the standout. Yeah, you thought I was gonna say except John Bradley because I omitted him. No, I'm saying he is the one I cared about the most in the movie, hands down, not even a contest. Other than him, I thought everyone else just could have been shuffled around with other actors. It wouldn't have made any difference, which is a bummer because in the useless family side arc of side characters on Earth that I definitely cared about least, Michael Pena's in there, underutilized. And to be honest, the ending left me really unfulfilled because you have a pretty unique premise here, the moon falling to the earth. And then by the end of this movie, this movie feels way more familiar than it probably should given what the premise of the movie is. In a world of weighing positives and negatives, there were more negatives in this movie than positives for me. But hey, maybe with enough drinks, you can get past the bogging down. That is to say this movie's probably a better time if you're drunk. Yeah, now it's a party. Well, this Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask movie really isn't accurate to the game. They have, they have like the classic line. I finished it in my head before it went down. Here's the setup of the first line. What do you think the follow-up's gonna be? God help you if you're wrong. What's the response? You know what it is. You know what it is. God help us all. All right, so Moonfall, have you seen it? What did you think about it? What's your favorite disaster movie out there? 
ever of all time. Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.